Chairman, thank you. Members, thank you. Republican uh, Whitney Westerfield no, sponsored Senate Bill 13, reintroducing a concept known as CAR, or Crisis Aversion and Rights Retention. It's been championed for years by Fountain Square shooting survivor Whitney Austin. It allows guns to be taken away temporarily from someone ruled by a judge to be undergoing mental issues and to be a threat to themselves or others. But instead of being assigned to his committee, Senate leadership instead sent it to Military and Veterans Affairs Public Safety. Why didn't your committee get the bill? And how frustrating was that? <laughs> That's a leadership question. Uh, I assume so that it, it was guaranteed not to move. Uh, that'd be my guess. Um, and to make sure that they didn't have me coming in at, in my leadership meeting once a week and asking for the bill to be heard. I reached out to Senate leadership Friday. In a text, Senate Majority Leader Damon Thayer said the bill lacked the votes to pass and had very little Republican support both in committee and on the floor. He said regardless of the committee assignment, it did not have the votes to move forward. Most of the members haven't read the bill. Most of the people who are sending me emails still to this day fussing at me about the bill haven't read the bill. Austin also released new poll data showing more than 70 percent of likely Republican primary voters favor the car concept. Austin became emotional at not getting the bill passed this year. But mostly I am disappointed. No, I'm not disappointed because disappointed is not the right word when you're talking about the loss of life. I am devastated that we went another session without passing car. Westerfield is actually retiring from the Senate at the end of this term, but he says he has other Republicans in mind to carry the torch next session. In Frankfurt, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and click the links for more content like this.